I saw a UFO and nobody believes me. How's it going guys? I wanted to tell you about my UFO experience. I'm certain it was not ET. It was just something in the air which I could not explain and I still do not know what the hell it was. Probably, probably something really commonly like explained but I'll tell you about it anyway. I was um, at the top of Mount Cravat Lookout a few years ago with a mate from school. We weren't at, like we were out of school, you know. Like we were, I was like 20 at the time, but it was an old mate. Anyways, we're at the top, just chilling out one night. You might have seen Mount Cravat Lookout in some of the other riders' videos. It's only a small mountain, so we're up there, we're looking over the city and that, and there's just bush and houses around. Nothing, you know, there's not a whole lot of city around Mount Cravat, so there's a bit of bush. So, uh, yeah, we're just sitting there watching, right? Then all of a sudden, there was probably us and about another 20 people up the mountain that night, fairly quiet. We're sitting there watching, chill out, and all of a sudden, the bushes, like the, the forest lights up, like bright as, like, like a flare down low, right? exactly like a flare in the brightness aspect of it and this thing was like bright as it's just taken off really really slowly um probably i don't know i guess like 30 k's an hour but straight up no sound um it didn't like it was ex it looked exactly like a slow flare and i don't even know if that's like possible it wasn't making any noise it wasn't emitting any smoke or anything it was just really bright and it took off and we watched it you know you know with a flare how it shoots up real fast and then just like it slows and fades and drops this thing maintained a constant speed the whole time uh, it didn't accelerate it, it didn't slow down it just maintained the same speed it always had which was much much slower than a flare it was going way too slow. It didn't look big, it just looked, it was like too bright to kind of look at, but it looked small. And it just, it just left the trees and like the trees went dark because it wasn't close enough anymore to light up the trees and we could, we were all just watching it. And it was just like going up about that speed, you know? And we were all just kind of watching it going, what the hell is that thing, you know? And we watched it for about 10 minutes until we couldn't tell if like, it apart from the stars it just kept getting higher and higher and higher and then we, we were keeping our finger on it going yeah that's still the same one it hasn't faded and until we couldn't really tell what like it apart from the stars anymore and that was it how weird is that um yeah that's that's all that's like that's my little ufo experience that's all i've seen uh it is weird though out of all the 20 people of us, 20 odd people, none of us could explain what it was. You know, it looked like a flare, but it was way too slow to be a flare. Made no sound, bright as hell, no smoke, I might add. It didn't fall, it just kept going until we, it was just gone into this. Like, it never faded, it was just too high to tell it apart from the stars anymore. Uh, you know, so, so out of all of those people, none of us had an explanation. But we all just went, huh, oh well, that's that then. What are you doing tomorrow? You know, we just went on with our lives. Like, that's one thing that's always, you know, surprised me about people. Even when they're conf confronted, uh, shit, what is the word? <laughs> confronted, that's what I'm looking for, Jesus Christ. Even when they're confronted with, um, you know, something that they can't explain, that wobble better not be coming back. I, I can explain the wobble. You know, even when they're confronted with something they can't explain, it just 
it just it's beyond explanation at that point. They just go, oh well, so be it. Can't explain it. Move on. And that's yeah, that's I don't know. That's it's very surprising for me because I I'm all about truth and explanations and logic and you know just a reason to things happening or if, if there's no reason for it happening at least an explanation for I don't know I'm not one of these people like I'm not a religious person and I'm not one of these people who just believes in something because other people believe in it or because I was told from a young age to believe in it I need to see proof heard my experience with seeing something in the air which I can't explain uh, I want to know what you've seen in the air which you can't explain and don't go making shit up like all the stuff on YouTube videos people testing out their like video editing skills and going oh my god real UFO like shuts down Chinese airport actually that one actually did happen but you know don't like make up fake ones just let us know if you've actually seen something which you're pretty sure was not playing oh my god because it's something that has always interested me you know I'm not an ignorant person that's going to be like oh our tiny little planet earth insignificant little speck of sand in the middle of nowhere in a really boring galaxy you know we're well not a boring galaxy but just a completely insignificant galaxy in the scheme of things yeah we're, we're totally like the center of the universe we're the only ones with like intelligent life on it yeah for sure totally i'm just i'm i just i it uh, it beats me it's absolutely beyond me how anyone could possibly think that we're the only ones with intelligent life it's like walking down a, a beach that goes for miles and miles and miles, closing your eyes, picking up one single grain of sand, and going, this one here, this is unique. This is the only grain of sand, you know, on this beach that, like, you know, has life on it. It's just absurd. 